my name is Alice and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm so excited to be giving you a tour of my completed castle. So this castle was inspired by Windsor Castle, um, as you might be able to tell. It's not a complete inspiration as I'm going to be real with you guys, 64 by 64 lot is not enough to do Windsor Castle to its fullest. Um, I recently went to Windsor Castle actually and when I tell you guys the grounds are so extensive and it's so massive so this is really just I guess my best attempt at doing a nice big castle. Obviously I put my own little spin on it. This sort of tower is an at Windsor Castle but it's sort of my own little spin of, on it it's an inspiration of Windsor so I'm really excited to take you guys inside so we're gonna start off with the main entrance which is here I want to try do it in the window a bit closer I want to try do it from this view like I did with my Willow Palace tour so please bear with me I do love the cinematic view so this is the main entrance. So I did try to do ceilings where I could in this castle. Um, I didn't do it in every room like I did with Willow Palace because I don't know if you can tell, but this castle was very oddly shaped. So it was quite hard, but yes. So this is the main entrance to the castle. So I think we're gonna start off with this room here. I'll show you the full big staircase in a moment, but we'll do this floor first. So here we have the main family drawing room. Sorry, there we are. I did try to do some ceilings in here. As I said, the castle's very oddly shaped, so not all the ceilings are perfect. Um, so, I'll show you it from this side as well. Kind of also like a mini library. We've got lots of books and everything. I was really excited to do this castle because I wanted to incorporate more grounds into my builds. I normally like the sort of, um, I guess white marble and stuff aesthetic as I think you might have seen in my past palaces and builds but with castles it's all more wooden and like old-fashioned as in medieval stuff so I really tried to incorporate that as much as I could in this build so yeah this is the main family drawing room um, my family colors are blue but I tried to incorporate more red in this room so I'm really happy with how this room looks um, so we'll go a bit further on so this is just like a little stairwell that takes us down to the basement. We'll see that in a moment. So this is an office. So I imagine this would be like the Prince Consort's office. Um, as you can see, it's very nice. Although I probably need to switch out this portrait because the Prince Consort's not in this um, photo. But yeah, this is the Prince Consort's office. Got a light, um, a door. Actually, I'll probably show you guys the little sort of bit in the middle. Um, it is currently autumn in my game, so if things look a bit brown, that's why. <laughs> um, I, it looks a lot nicer in the summer. So we'll go back through. Oops, there we are. Because the store was in there. Yeah. It's the office. Then I think we'll go back this way. We'll go through this door just because another little nook door again very oddly shaped but i did my best so this is a different entrance into the castle as you can see this is this end gosh sorry guys this is this entrance into the castle so you just got another entrance i love this actually whilst we're here i'll just show you guys the full thing this might be my favorite or one of my favorite rooms i just love the gold and the blue they're like my royal colors family colors yeah i just love this um okay so yeah we'll go back down there so i can show you guys the rest of it so we'll go in this room first as you know we'll go down the hallway this way is no i don't know where i am yeah this is <laughs> another drawing room do bear with me guys <laughs> this castle honestly confuses me with the layout of it but we'll do our best so yeah this is a drawing room i really i don't know guys if, if you guys can tell but i really like doing using this as like sort of um i guess a walkway into another room i just think it looks so grand and it's like so much better than normal archways and doors uh okay so yeah we've got kind of like a second drawing room to this drawing room more of like an extended bit yeah i really like this room very blue Obviously, got a ceiling in there. 
big fireplace. So that's that room. And then, yeah, this is the hallway I was on her. <laughs> um, very red, this hallway, but I love it. Oh, I think this is the door from the office. You can see, it kind of like curves around. Let's take a stand. Yeah, <laughs> you get in this room by, by the office, you get into the hallway by the office. Again, I'll just go quite slowly so you guys can see it all. Again, try to use the browns, incorporate other colours than blue, so like the reds. Here. I did put this table in. I don't know if it looks out of place in the hallway, but we just got like a little pool area. I quite like it. Okay, so now we have the monarch's office. Oh. <laughs> don't know what happened there. This is the monarch's office. Um, I do have a slight reshade on for this palace tour. I kind of wanted to do it, so I hope it's not too bright for you guys. Um, as you can see, the difference when I take it off, but yeah. Uh, so this is the monarch's office. So this is where my queen's office is. As I said, with reshade on top of my paintings, it's a lot, like my recolored ones, but we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. So yeah, this is the monarch's office. Again, we have a ceiling. Just like, incorporating the blues again. Okay, so now for here we have a green drawing room. So you guys would have seen this in the latest episode, so episode nine of the Royal of Sims Anastasia. Eleanor and um, Nathaniel had the Helena. Sorry, I get Eleanor and Helena mixed up, but yeah, um, Helena and Nathaniel had their conversation in this room again, really bright with the reshade on top of it. Um, yeah. Then again, this is like another door room. There's like plenty of entrances, so you don't have to always go through the main entrance. Um, so yeah, that's this room. Actually, oops. Oh, I forgot about the little, hang on guys. We may have to go back. This is like a little, I think I forgot to do that one. I'm not sure. But if we go in here quickly, I forgot about it because it's tucked away. Got a little one. Um, <laughs> painting room in like these um i don't know what they're called but like these sort of um towers i have little rooms but i think i actually forgot to do that one which is quite embarrassing because i said it was fully done <laughs> um okay turn off free show for a sec just so we can see the portraits without it being too much again another door to enter so this is another entrance i imagine maybe like the staff enter through this way yeah, this is another just sort of foyer bit again with the blue and the gold. Keep going. Got a long hallway here. This is like more uh, light blue and pink. So you can see, you've got a little room here. Now, I did use these curtains and I really do like them and I wish I could use them more but with my reshade they go really transparent as you can see without them on they look like that so I may end up changing them out but I wanted to put them in for you guys in case you wanted to use them and also I always end up using the same the same curtains it's nice from this angle too so yeah very long drawing room also I like how if you can see this it here i like how it's the sofa's up against the curtains i think that looks really nice from both sides so yeah also i should say this castle is not play tested i'm hoping it works but i can't guarantee it um i'm just kind of when i'm building palaces and castles i'm focused on making them look good um so i do apologize if some things don't work that well but i mean i've I've had my sims come in here and walk around and stuff so it's functional I just don't know how well some everything works <laughs> uh, let me turn reshade back on so yeah we've got another hallway here more portraits I do need to recolor more portraits because I always end up using the same you probably recognize all of these from the willow palace I just need to recolor more portraits um, so then this is a little tea room as you can see i sort of arranged all the teacups and everything there 
I'm really happy with how this room looks. So if you could see what it is, it's that big tower from the outside. It's this one here. So it sort of goes all the way up. Um, yeah, let's go back down. <laughs> As you can see, like, I just, it really, it makes me so happy just seeing like all these towers be like, have stuff in them and be furnished like royally. It just, it makes me so excited. Um, also I should say, like in general, it's not as like medieval, the interior as it could be, but I feel like it's probably because it's been renovated. Um, obviously in the past, I feel like it was more medieval. Um, we've had more like big archways and all of that stuff but we're just gonna kind of head back through because we'll go back to the main entrance so we can head on. Oops. Oh, we have a bit more to see, I just remembered. So we'll go this way. We're trying to go quite quickly because this castle's massive and I don't want the video to be too long, um, especially because my last palace build was like 30 minutes and I'm really happy that it didn't take too long because uh, it could have taken a lot longer. So here we are again. I just love this room. I did some story posts in here as well, so I really like this room. Okay, yeah, again, the main entrance. I feel like this probably feels like the most medieval sort of spot with like the archways and stuff. Um, okay, we'll go this way. Okay. Again, as you know, this probably feels quite castle -y, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, one day, I, I would like to build some more castles to go in Hanford on Bagley and maybe like in some other worlds as well. This is a bathroom. I tried to get a bathroom or like at least a couple on every floor because I know how annoying it is when your sons need the toilet or like, you know, they need to shower or something. And they're like, you've got a, a house or a palace or a castle as big as this. It takes forever to get where you need to go. So I tried to incorporate them as in as much as possible. Okay, so they have this hallway here. So, again, another way of getting in. Plenty of entrances and exits. And that's the same on this side. Oh yeah, you've got a sort of little um, mini sort of hidden garden in here. You could probably furnish it more with like flowers and stuff. I just didn't really have time when I did this. Also, I hate landscaping, so, oh, here we are. So yeah, this is this bit. I put the flags everywhere. I just love putting my flags all over my palaces. Okay, so keep going. I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Okay, yeah, so we've got a bedroom here. I imagine this is like Princess Genevieve's bedroom. Basically all of the bedrooms are sort of a bit, I think like the floor plan isn't the my best floor plan, more because the castle is just, it's a very odd shape and it's hard trying to find fit places in everywhere. Um, so it's not like there's a big sort of floor full of bedrooms. A lot of them are actually in the basement, which is kind of what I did with the Victory Palace, which is like my royal family's main residence. We've got another hallway down here. Um, so the bedrooms are kind of dotted around everywhere But I, I tried my best but yeah, this is like a walkway outside I love Hampton on Bagley. It's like one of my favorite worlds We'll head upstairs in a little bit, but as you can see there's sort of place, ways to get upstairs quite all around the palace Castle, I mean I keep calling it a palace, sorry um, The little room at the end and then I didn't know what to do with this like these little, sort of um all of these towers I just put random things in here so you've got a little flower flower arranging table in here don't ask they're all a bit random but there's not really much I could fit in any of them so I'm trying to think if we should head up we'll go up this way now I want to make it look like we're actually walking up the stairs. <laughs> Give me one moment. Ah, okay, we've made it. Okay, another hallway. So this is like the portrait room here. Set up like a little spot for portraits. 
Now, I, I will say, I did put like an orb and a scepter there, but I've noticed with the orbs and the scepters and the crowns, they disappear a lot when you leave the lots, even if you put them in build mode. So you might want to put something there yourself because it clearly it's disappeared for me. But yeah, this is the sort of portrait spot. I say that I don't really actually paint portraits of my Sims in games. I would like to try it one time, see like how they actually look if we painted them. Um, okay, so this is a bathroom to this bedroom, but we'll check out the bathroom first because so this is the crown. This is Leonor's room, the crown princess's room. So she's just so you get your bearings. She's like directly above Genevieve's bedroom. Okay, and then we have a ladder here. I know it seems random, but this was the only way I could get this up here. Because <laughs> um, that's like this odd tower, but there's like no other space like to put it in, like stairs to get up here. So I just kind of had to put like this sort of study spot up here. But I imagine maybe it's like Leonor and Genevieve's sort of private study area, maybe where they do their homework together. So I've just sort of, maybe this is like, the oldest sister's like hangout zone but yeah it's from Leonor's bathroom and I know that's really weird but it was the only spot I could put a ladder in so also I'm I hope it's functional I hope it works but I haven't tested it so yeah this is Leonor's bedroom again I'm gonna try my best to get a CC list out for you guys but please do bear with me um as you can see there's a lot of cc in this castle so i'm going to try my best but yeah this is this room so leonor's bedroom um you can see this is like where we are on the outside and then you've got a door here because you can get from leonor's bedroom directly to like the outside and this actually might hang on yeah and we can get into like this little bit here this might actually be a good time let's head back this way and then we've got the main staircase now so we'll head on through i'm trying to think of the best way to show you guys the floor plan please do bear with me we've already been through that so if we head on up so this is like my favorite bit just like the ground main staircase I didn't realise that was all centred, I'm going to have to make that more centred, but guys, I love this, it's so angelic. Okay, I'll head up a little bit. I'm just going to show you it from like all of the floors, just because you get the full view from all of the floors, but like this is basically the full amazing view. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. So yeah, this is like the main grand staircase. I think this might be my favourite staircase I've done ever. I'm just in love with it. It's just, I remember it took me ages to figure it out, but when I finally did, I was so happy. <laughs> so happy, because even like, you've got like these bits along here, like on these like smaller bits. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. So we're gonna go this way first because the queen's bedroom is down here. Oh yeah, and we have an office here. I said that other one was the Prince Consort's office, maybe this one could be, and then the other one could be just like a random office. This feels more like the Prince, like William's office, but I'm not sure. I think a sim could walk around there, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'm really happy with how this one looks. So th this is like at the front of the castle. So we're at the front now. But yeah, this is William's office. I like the browns, I like that they're more orangey and this is it without reshade on. But with reshade it's stunning. I can't wait to do scenes in here. I just can't wait to do stuff in here. Basically I wanted to get Winthrop Castle done really soon because, oh yeah and this is like another view of the staircase and everything. Um, I wanted to get it done as soon as possible. Also I'm aware that there's no railings up here. Let's just hope your sims are okay. Um, <laughs> my sims don't have a 
great track record with stairs if you know you know um <laughs> but there's a big chunk of the rest of chapter two is gonna happen here so i really needed to get it done you guys will see what i mean when we get there but i really needed this done so this is like kind of the entrance to the queen and prince consort's bedroom so i know in like regular royal well like throughout history the monarch and consort have different bedrooms in my story eleanor and william she's the queen he's the prince consort they share a bedroom so they've got like the same quarters but you could easily make one of the other bedrooms like the one of the queen or princess consort or prince consort or whatever you want really so this is oh we get up here we are so this is the monarch's bedroom and consort's bedroom from my story so also i know that that looks out of place <laughs> and i know it's going up into the ceiling but again i had no space to put in the staircase and up here ooh, up here we do have like you can, oh my, sorry this is like a different wall height so it's kind of hard to show you guys but you kind of go this way and then you'll kind of have a little viewing spot on the roof so it's too pretty not to put it in but i know it looks weird with the ladder anyway monarch's bedroom I'm really happy with how this looks. I love the light blues. Um, oh, I, yeah, I really like it. And I, I love these kind of window curtain things to make it look like the windows are further back. I really like them, so I wanted to use them in here. So you've got like a wardrobe, dressing table, etc. Obviously the bedroom, you've got like another little sort of living area. Oh wait, did I show you the bathroom? Hang on. I didn't, sh no I did. Did I? I did. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm forgetting what they showed you. Yeah, that's their bathroom. It's quite a small bathroom, but it was really hard to fit all of this in. Yeah, and then we've got like another sort of roof spot. So this is only accessible via like the monarch's bedroom. So it's sort of like their own private balcony. Okay, we'll head on back down because I want to get to the, whoops, sorry guys if you get dizzy, I want to get back to where we started so we can do the other side, oh my gosh, the other side of the upstairs, okay, so these go to the same room so it's fine, actually, yeah again, another view, this is the banquet hall, I love this. It feels so medieval. Like I know it's more golden and stuff and it definitely looks a bit more modern, but I think because of like the thrones and everything and the windows being like that, it just feels so medieval. Um, it feels like a proper like medieval banquet hall and I love it. I did put in some newer windows indoors because I wanted to give off the vibe that some of it's more renovated. So we've got an actual balcony here, which we can have scenes on, which is nice. The only thing that I don't really like is there's a big shadow over this spot during different, it really depends what time of the day you're at, but I'm sure it gets brighter at some point. So you could have some nice scenes on this balcony. So yeah, this is the banquet hall. Um, we've got sort of a little piano with surrounded by mirrors. This is a really oddly shaped room. I tried my best, but please note a lot of it's really oddly shaped and it might look a little weird, but I tried my best to make it look natural. Um, as you can see up there, we'll, we'll get up there eventually, but we have like a little sort of viewing spot up there. Okay. So this is what we saw when we were down here oh hang on when we were down here <laughs> down here where that other entrance is there so that's this is the banquet hall is just in there so i like this because there's not actually a staircase here and i like that because it's kind of teasing what's to come upstairs 
or like you can see someone come in and you might want to go see them but they can't you've got no way of getting up to each other so you're gonna have to run to like the nearest staircase which i think is really cute so maybe like when um, one of the kids gets like a boyfriend or a girlfriend it'd be really cute because they'll just be like they could come in this way and then they'll be from the balcony and they'll be like waving then they run to them sorry i'm just thinking of story stuff here <laughs> okay this is the music room again oh yeah there are I, I don't know if i mentioned this before but there are full speed builds of me building this entire thing from the start so there's one of me doing the exterior and then there's like three of me doing the interior of this so I think that's just it. I don't know if you guys know how long these builds take me, but they take me a long time. If you think about, so when I do like speed builds, I try get them from between about two hours is like my maximum that I like it being because I know that that's a really long video um, and it's hard to like keep your attention on it for that long. But they are on speed six. When actually I'll turn that off for a sec. But they're on speed six when I'm doing it which and they're like two hours each a piece and there's three of them so that's like six hours on time six speed so that gives you an example of how long these builds take me so i really try my best to get speed builds and stuff out quickly for you guys but they do take a long time but they're so worth it in the end like look i turned that off so we could see the portraits okay but I like the orange and the green. I love, I love green. I love the orange and green combo. I know not everyone, it's not everyone's favorite, but I love it. I think it looks with the gold as well, which just looks amazing. So yeah, this is this room. It's just like a sort of, I guess, walking spot, maybe sitting and chatting spot. Okay, got another hallway. Got some seats there so i believe this is a bathroom yeah actually tell you what there's yeah i keep forgetting about these yeah there's bathrooms like everywhere um i keep forgetting about those little um <laughs> the little towers so yeah got like this then in here this is an office Lovely pink. Got a nice view actually. We have a lovely view from this office. Again. I kind of think maybe Missy might use this office when she's like with here with the royal family. Missy's like the royal advisor, so I think I might make this Missy's office to be honest. I quite like it and I think it's her vibe quite a bit. Okay, so we'll keep going. I don't know if this is my favourite drawing room, but it might be. I just love the green. The green and the brown. Green is my favourite colour. I think I've said that before, but I just love green. And I just, oh, I love this room. You've got William, Prince Consort, when he was a teenager with his mum, Rose, and dad, John. So that's who these people are. Again, you've got lovely views. Like imagine if there was like a garden, I imagine they host garden parties here the most. Imagine there's like a garden party. The, the, the fact that this is like a brown is really kind of making it a bit ugly because it's autumn. When it's night, when it's not autumn, it's all nice and bright green. So just ignore the browns and I should have probably changed the season before I did this tour. Uh, but I am in my main save so I don't really want to mess with the seasons too much. But I've got a TV in here. I don't like putting TVs because I think they just don't look that royal. They just, I don't know, they make it feel more modern than timeless, but I think it's needed, especially because it, it is modern day in my story. So that's that room. Another corridor area. And we have, so we have an orange version of that purple office in here. This one doesn't have that nice of a view. So I guess you probably want the other one because it's got a better view than this one. <laughs> well, I guess. If you look that way, it's fine, but otherwise you're just staring at a wall. 
Um, but yeah, that's that office. Let me go further down. I will show you guys the floor plans when we're done. Got like a sort of looking down, looking at the view. I love Hampton Bagley for the view. We're gonna have a staircase here so you can get down that way or come up that way. This is that big tower at the side. So this is like another office library. So there's actually technically, an, I, I was gonna make that like a roof area, but I just, I didn't want to do another weird thing with like the ladders, so. Also, I feel like it's quite unsafe if you had like a balcony up there because of how like small the walls are. Yeah, anyway, this is like another sort of study big library office space. Two floors, sort of golden and brown. Yeah, okay, then I think that's everything on this floor. So I'm gonna head back this way, we'll go to the next floor. We'll go this way. Okay, we're back here. Okay, so we've got the next staircase here. Okay, again, we're at the top floor now. So, we'll go through this way. Yeah. So, this is, you sort of peering over at the um, banquet hall. Balcony here. It's a very small balcony. I think your Sims could probably walk on there, but it's not that big. So, <laughs> it's nice a nice balcony um okay oops I get my camera controls I hate camera controls yeah so this is like a foyer but kind of more like a living space I think maybe the queen could hold like audiences in this room very blue and the lines help it feel more like a castle okay then another sort of I guess kind of hallway but with some seating for entertainment so in here we have the throne room oops I really like the throne room and we got some nice ceilings in here it's quite small but I like it because it's like not quite two floors but like almost two floors um because of how high the walls like the ceilings go yeah, this is the third room. I went more of like pinky colours to match the thrones, so that's why the carpet is like a bright pink. Um, got some of the monarch pictures. Got the current queen and prince consort at the end. It's a very small throne room, but they've got enough palaces, they don't need a massive one. You've got a lovely view from the throne room balcony. Oh my God, guys. Also, I know that that's like peeking through. I might have to, you might have to like move that down. I think it's a, yeah, it's one of these. You might have to alt place it and bring it down slightly because it's peeking through the, um, the concrete. But yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so out of the throne room. We have the state dinner room, dining room. So we have a banquet hall, then we also have this room. So I don't know whether this would be used for like smaller occasions or maybe as like a dinner hall by the royal family. I imagine the royal family might actually eat in here to be honest. Again, I don't think it's my best floor plan, but I really tried my best. Got another toilet here, which is actually quite good because if your Sims are eating, yeah. Okay. okay, then through here, we have like another hallway, so many cool ways. Toilet, all of the toilets in like these, um, these look the same pretty much, but I wanted to do something with them. I didn't want to leave like the rooms bare. I hate leaving rooms bare in palaces and castles and stuff. Got another little drawing room, more pinky coloured. I think I forgot to make the ceilings marble for like all the all of the rooms I did in the third 
part of this bead build so like the last part I think I forgot to do marble ceilings and all of these so you may want to do them if you want yeah I think I did but yeah anyway this is a hallway you guys can easily add them if you want to so this takes you to like the main main balcony so we see it from this side this one here okay oops like that this way okay we have a bedroom more greeny light green and light pink I like this bedroom. If I lived here, I'd want this bedroom because I like light green and I like light pink as well. It's my favorite colors. I think I'd want this one to be my bedroom if I was a princess and I lived here. So yeah, that's this room. I believe that's everything here. Yeah, that's everything on that side. And then, yeah, so this is the queen's bedroom. She's on the third floor. And yeah. Yeah, we've seen everything on the top floor. So we'll go down to the basement now. So let's go down these stairs. Okay. Trying to remember the way to the basement. I think it's this way. Do bear with me, guys. The floor plan confuses me too. When I built it. So. <laughs> yeah, here we are. So we'll go down the stairs. Right, there we go. <laughs> Okay, this is the basement. I call it the basement. It's like basically another floor, but I didn't have enough room for like another floor, but I needed more rooms for bedrooms and stuff and a kitchen. So it's all down here. I did actually put some staff rooms in here too, which is quite nice. So I think we'll start off, we'll start off this side, I think. It's kind of in two sections, like the upstairs is. It's basically, actually let me show you the blueprints quickly, it's basically like the same floor plan, same shape as the um, as the actual castle. I mean I could have just done a big box and fitted in more rooms but it feels more real if it's all the same because then it's like on the same foundations and everything. Um, so I quite like that. Um, so yeah, this is another bedroom. This is like brighter pinks and like darker purples but more like pinky purples i don't really know but yeah that's another bedroom then along here okay so here we have another sort of uh hallway sitting room place and then in here we have a bathroom then through here we have another dining room, maybe, I feel like this might be the family's breakfast room, where they eat breakfast. Um, okay. Another drawing room. Went with the light pinks. I really like the pink, dark blue and gold combo, as you might have seen in most of my builds. I love it. So this room is really nice to me, I love it. So got some books as well okay. kind of like half of the half of this basement is for the royal family then the other half is for the staff that's kind of how I view it so we've got a little sort of foyer bit here okay this is more like a library with all the books but it's also like another drawing room just lots of drawing rooms lots of places for scenes in basements, I like putting in these mirrors than putting curtains over them because I think, although you can't have windows in basements, I like it because it makes it look like there's windows in it when there's not because like they're the same sort of things as panes of glass on windows. So I think it just makes it look more like there's actual natural light in the room when there's not. So I, I, I do like doing that. As you can see, I've kind of done it throughout like the royal section of this another hallway and this takes us into so i imagine this one i imagine this is the dowager queen suite so queen caroline the queen mother her and henry i imagine if they stay here they stay in this suite here 
I went with the purple just because I love purple. I love building with purple. Um, bathroom. All pinky colours. Another sort of little hallway section. And then the bedroom. So basically it's like an entire suite that they have, but I really like it. Um, it's quite fitting because Caroline is the queen mother. I imagine what probably this was like the queen's, maybe, the, maybe you can make this like the consorts or queen's suite of bedrooms if you don't have your monarch and consort sharing because maybe we could say that when king philip was king i don't i don't think him and caroline shared a bedroom so i imagine this maybe could have maybe this has always been caroline's bedroom and they didn't feel the need to switch it out when eleanor became queen let's say that so if you have a consort and you don't want them sharing with them with the monarch they can stay here Okay, yeah, so that's that. We'll head on back. We are very nearly done, guys, I promise. I know this is massive, but we're very nearly done. Okay, we'll head on through. Okay, so. I'm actually not sure what's... Okay, we'll go in the kitchen. This is the royal kitchen. I know, I am aware of the odd shape. I am aware of it, but there wasn't really much I could do. So I know that there's a very long diagonal wall there. I just put a ton of fridges along it. So I am aware. Um, you guys can always convert a different room into a kitchen if you don't like it. Um, Cause I know it is quite odd, but yeah, this is the Royal kitchen. So this is where all of the Royal family's meals are prepared. Okay, then this is another dining room of the royal family. So I did put this like sort of next to this room. Obviously they've got the banquet halls upstairs and everything. I imagine they have to transport it upstairs for banquets and everything. But the, this stuff is more for like private family occasions or the uh, dining rooms down here. So that's this room. And I believe, hang on, let me just check. Yeah. So you don't have to go through the kitchen to get to this bit. So obviously the staff would use the kitchen bit, but the royal family would come down here, go into like their, some of their rooms down here, and then they'd go through here for like the rest of their rooms. So there's like path routes for the staff and royal family. Okay. So here we have another bedroom. I will say, I, I realised this once I finished, um, I forgot to add in a nursery, which is quite embarrassing. So I'm going to need to convert one of these rooms into a nursery because I have two infants and one toddler in my main royal family. And I was thinking more for the future when they're older, but they're not going to be, that's not going to be for a long time. And this does need a nursery. So I apologise for my <laughs> um, not forward thinking with that. This is the bathroom for this room. So yeah, I'm going to have to convert one of the rooms myself. I don't know whether to add like another basement floor um, for the nursery. But yeah, so I'm really sorry, guys. Um, that was completely my bad and a complete oversight by me because I actually need it myself as well. Another bedroom. Very pink. Okay. And then from here we enter the staff quarters. So you can kind of see like the change between <laughs> the royal and the staff bit. So I did the same with the window technique I do, but I did more like just normal curtains. I'm probably gonna get confused that some of these are rooms, so do bear with me. Okay. This is a bathroom. So I kind of have this as like the staff's main bathroom. Um, they'd probably have like an ensuite to be honest in each of their rooms, but there wasn't enough room for it in, down here. So for now they all share a bathroom. But again, you guys feel free to renovate this as much as you want. But bedroom, staff bedroom. There's about four staff bedrooms I wanna say, another one. 
another one. They're all quite small though, so. Um, this is like their hallway. I imagine maybe when they stay in Hemford on Bagley, um, I imagine maybe when they're at the castle, maybe the staff, most of them don't actually live in the castle, only like a select few, a select few live in the castle. So maybe that's why there's not many. Um, okay, there we go. I mean, it's all hypothetical. You can't really get staff in the Sims for, um, but for storytelling purposes and world building, I like to think of staff rooms and stuff. Okay, this is like, the head of staff's bedroom. So this would have been Henry's bedroom when he was head of staff. Obviously he's now married to Dowager Queen Caroline, so he's up in Caroline's bedroom with her. Um, so I do actually have a new head of staff that I need to introduce to you guys. Um, I think, I believe she was in the machinima though, with um, the one that was at the Willow Palace with Nathaniel and Priya. So that's the new head of staff. So we'll head down here. Because okay. I feel like she's the next senior staff member after Henry. So yeah, I will show you guys the floor plan as well. We'll just quickly pan through all these rooms. Here we are. So this is the floor plan. So you have the sort of stairwell here, some Royal rooms here, the Dowager Queen's bedroom here, then round here. So the staff kind of go in this way and then they go around that way to get to their quarters, whereas the royal family would take this route and then kind of stop here. So yeah, that's that floor. Then, okay. So up here we have, this is the main entrance, as you can see from the gate and everything. Also, that is functional. I know you may think it's not, but it is. The Sims just walk through it, so it's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the main entrance. Got the main drawing room. That's the stairwell to get to the basement there. You've got an office. You've got the other entrance. You've got a drawing room there. To be honest, maybe Let's say this is the staff entrance or like a visitor entrance because you can get to the staff quarters really easily by here. So we'll say this is the staff entrance and visitor entrance, whereas this is like the royal family or like just visiting royal entrance there. Let's say that. Make it a bit more real that way. Okay. Again, all of these rooms, you've got that hallway. I love this drawing room, it's so big, and I like how it's two rooms sort of combined. Got the Queen's office. Got this drawing room here. Got another entrance here. Again, we've got this sort of hallway with this drawing room there. Then we've got the tea room here. Then the other side, we've got a bathroom, we've got this long hallway, we've got Princess Genevieve's bedroom and her bathroom, and we've got this hallway here. You can get into it by both these ways. So you could, you could, if you don't want to go to Genevieve's bedroom, which I assume most people don't want to do, you can cut across outside, or you can go around the other way. Um, and then you've got like this mini drawing room there and then the sort of flower <laughs> arranging room. Bit weird, but it's fine. Okay, then that's that floor. That's what it looks like. Then we go up by one. Okay. Then we have obviously the next floor, the next foyer. I will start this way. We've got the Prince Consort's office. Another hallway. This is the entrance to the Queen and Prince Consort's bedroom. Makes sense actually if William's office is there, to be honest. It makes sense if his bedroom's just there. Okay. Then, so to get to Lionel's bedroom, you do have to go up from the outside. So this is Princess Lionel's bedroom, the heir to the throne. It's her little bathroom. You've got, oh, actually no. 
she could go up here as well put these stairs and go in via her bathroom so she has a few entrances then we've got the painting room and then another easel portrait room i should say and then you can get up to this room via Lionel's bathroom so that's that side and we'll go over to the other side so you go in this way you get to the banquet hall like so we've got this massive foyer i feel like when they hold events here they use these they kind of just use this massive section here so like the main entrance and all of this i feel like this is like the main sort of entertaining area then you've got the music room as well so i feel like that these are used when there's events so obviously the music room this room random room toilets obviously hallway missy's office drawing room someone else's office i don't know who <laughs> um okay then you can also get up that way then here we've got that sort of kind of study library area like that so that's that big tower there at the end okay i believe that's that floor so now on the third floor so I, oh gosh see sorry guys <laughs> queen's bedroom top floor of the foyer this kind of room i don't know what to call it but yeah um and kind of the entrance to the throne room then the throne room you can see it's like kind of two floors but not really okay then we've got kind of a more formal dining room or for smaller visits and occasions they can use this one rather than the banquet hall another little hallway bathroom another drawing room <laughs> too many drawing rooms this sort of hallway that takes you to the main balcony bedroom okay so there are up here you guys can add some stuff in if you want up here but just know it's on the short wall height but it's up to you you could always add like an attic up here i may do in the future but for now i didn't want any more ladders um oh yeah this is that ladder from the queen's bedroom up to like this bit but yeah this is Winthrop castle i'm so happy it's finally done and let me go let me show you guys it from a distance and it kind of goes a bit weird from a distance but just look okay it does go really weird but just look at it tunnel we're going to build mode and i'll show you it at different times of the day so we've got it in the afternoon i guess it's more like the afternoon now right the evening is the most gorgeous thing in the world like i think because oh with the moon as well i love this world i remember in a stream we were like taking everyone horse riding around the castle and it just looked absolutely stunning just with like the castle in the distance so um i love this world so much but i also i've started doing as you can kind of see i don't know who that is <laughs> a bit rather but this is like the stables i've started working on like the royal stables um that tree does not look like that i don't know why it looks that weird um but i've started working on this i'm not done but yeah that's the royal stables eventually the horses will live there but it's sort of like right near the castle um, I kind of want like other castles on the other lots in the... Oh my gosh, hang on. Hang on guys, reshade is really weird. Um, <laughs> on the other lots in Hanford or Bagley. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, so then we'll show you a tip at evening time, night time. I do need to add more lights around. I haven't quite done it to the kind of extreme I need to. I need to add more lights around but you guys can do that if you want to i think it'll look well when it's well lit it'll look really nice in the actual like evening time but morning is i think morning and evening are the prettiest times in this world 
I just think when like some of it is shadowed but other parts of it is bright it's just so pretty yeah anyway thank you guys for watching this I really appreciate it make sure to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already I'm always making builds I'm always doing royal builds I want to build more castles um, I normally do palaces this is my first castle and hopefully me not my last so if you're interested in it do make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future builds I do. Um, I have actually just filmed a sort of how to build the exterior of a palace video, um, kind of like my how to recolor royal paintings uh, video so that's going to be coming out really soon and I hope that because I often just build speed builds and stuff or build on stream and I don't really explain to you guys what I'm doing or like hacks on how to make this look good and everything in my style so I figured I'll make a sort of how-to video so you guys have a better idea of how you can actually build a palace yourself so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this pa uh this I keep calling it a palace this castle is on the gallery now my gallery ideas Alice's sims builds I'm gonna try my best to get a cc list out um, I'm going to keep updating it as I go. It's definitely not going to be completed by the time this video is out, so please do be patient with me. But in general, most of the CCs by Jim the Jim 07, Felix Andre, uh, The Marble Mortal, Cliff 029, um, Golden Sanctuary Sims. So if you have the majority of the CC by these creators, you'll probably be okay, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye.